The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, and this is Christ Jesus speaking, as you can see pointed out in the Companion Bible, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, the anointed one being what Christ means. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And when Christ read this in the synagogue, this is where he closed the book and gave it again to the minister and sat down, as you can see in verse 20 of Luke chapter 4. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him, and he began to say unto them, in verse 21, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears, because it was looking forward to Christ's first advent, and what follows looks forward to his return at the seventh trumpet immediately after the two and a half months or seventy evenings of the sixth trumpet that begin when Satan appears as the false Christ in Jerusalem, those 70 evenings being what the 70 years in captivity to the Babylon of old were a type of, and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn, when the true Christ returns as King of kings and Lord of lords, which is when the thousand-year-long great tribulation begins, the day of his wrath, as it's called in the last verse of Revelation chapter 6, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. In other words, those who will be mourning the spiritual death of most Christians that will have happened at 666 in the great apostasy, and those that will come out of the confusion, which is what Babylon means before the seventh angel sounds, will become mourners also, and then when the true Christ returns, they'll become part of the millennial priesthood. And as it's written in Joel chapter 1 verse 9, the priest, the Lord's ministers mourn during the sixth trumpet, but as Christ says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 4, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted, ultimately at the seventh trumpet when the true Christ returns, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. The good figs of Jeremiah chapter 24 being symbolic of those who will take part in the first resurrection when they're changed into spiritual bodies at the seventh trumpet when the true Christ returns, along with the armies which were in heaven made up of those of the seven thousands of Doc who had lived and died throughout the centuries, and that's when the millennial priesthood will come into being. And they shall build the old wastes, and they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. They'll be used to teach discipline to those who were deceived by the desolator and failed to repent before the seventh angel sounded, causing them to be cast into the outer darkness as evil figs, but they'll have the opportunity to absorb the discipline Christ will teach through the good figs, whereby they can take part in the second resurrection after the thousand years are finished, having stood against Satan when he gets released from the bottomless pit. And strangers that Zer in the Hebrew shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the alien, which is Nacar in the Hebrew, shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. The apostates being what Zer means, as in those who were Christians, but then at 666 were grafted into Satan's family tree, along with the Nacar, which usually means the Kenites, who are the natural branches of Satan's family tree, but Nacar can apply to all who are foreign to Christianity. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord, men shall call you the ministers of our God, ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. The seven thousands of Doc, the 144,000, and whosoever will repent before the seventh angel sounds are the millennial priesthood that will come into being when the thousand years begin. For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion, therefore in their land they shall possess the double, everlasting joy shall be unto them. A double blessing as opposed to the double punishment the whore of Babylon will receive that you can read of in Revelation chapter 18 verse 6, the Zer, that is to say, who ceased to be a virgin, spiritually speaking, in the great apostasy, and then failed to repent before the day of vengeance began, which is when the seventh vial gets poured out, which is when great Babylon is given the cup of the wine of the fierceness of God's wrath, as you can see in Revelation chapter 16 verse 19. 
For I, the Lord, love judgment, I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth, meaning the work of the millennial priesthood, distributing Christ's teachings of discipline, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them, and their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, which means the nations, and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed, which again means those who will become spiritual children of the millennial priesthood when they take part in the second resurrection after the thousand years are finished. Spiritual children in the same way Timothy was Paul's own son in the faith, as he's called in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 2. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. The new Jerusalem, being the Lamb's wife, which is made up of all who are in Christ Jesus, having taken part in either the first or the second resurrection. For as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as the garden causeth the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all nations.